happy Monday, everybody. We are getting closer to Christmas, and I don't know. I just felt festive. Not really. These, this is your Super Bowl team right here. I don't care that it's only December. I am calling it. My boys are going to win the Super Bowl. I think we all feel that way at this point. I mean, not about the Patriots, but about our own team. So we all just feel like they're going to win for us. Anyway, this is my Patriots toque, one of them. I love this one. This one is my, I call it my Canadian Patriots, because it is moose and maple leaf and then the Patriots. So it's kind of like the perfect combination of America and my favorite team and my my hometown. So anyway, enough of that. This is my number one favorite. It is Monday Marvelous or Mundanes, and I have zero Mundanes today. Really, I have none. There's nothing in front of me that I hate. So if you were looking for mundanes, you're not going to find them on my channel today, but I will go through all of my current favorite products. I will tell you guys right now, six of them are limited edition and only two of those six I think you can still go buy, maybe three, I don't know. They're my favorites. That's what I've been using. I can't like tell you guys I've been using something I haven't been using. So if I've been using limited edition stuff, that's just what you guys are going to get to see. So let's start with the eyeshadows because that's been really been my kick the last couple weeks. I've really been focusing on my eyes and doing a lot of fun things. The first three I've been using are... Oh, the first four I've been using are, well, it's almost all MAC in front of me today, actually. This is MAC's Invincible Light. This was limited edition from one of their collections. I have my Diva Light on, and I think it's going to mess with the lighting, but it's just a really pretty goldy purple color. It's really, really stunning. It's one of my favorites. It's gorgeous for Christmas time because it just gives your eyes like a really glittery. I'm not wearing it today, but I'm going to add it to what I am wearing because I like it so much. Um, I wasn't wearing it, and now I am. It just adds this like glitter effect to your eyes, like almost like a highlight, like you're applying a highlight. It is one of my favorite colors. The second one is Snow Season, which is kind of like that, but it's a little bit more goldy. You can use these wet or dry, but again, it's that softer tone. And then Frozen Blue. These came out in last year's Christmas collection. Frozen Blue is gorgeous. That's what they look like. Ooh, they came out in last year's Christmas collection, which is why they're in that white packaging. But that's the two of them side by side, Snow Season and Frozen Blue. And then the last one is Sweet Heat. And this is the one, I don't know if you can buy Extra Dimension eyeshadows by themselves or not yet. I, I know that there are Extra Dimension things you can buy, but I don't know if Sweet Heat is in there. But Sweet Heat is an Extra Dimension eyeshadow. Can be used wet or dry. Super metallic. Really, really, really beautiful. Gorgeous. It's like a rose gold. Really pretty. Then this has been my go-to palette, my MAC Quad. Okay, so the colors in this quad are Arena, which is a gorgeous kind of peachy orange color. Then I have Honey Last, which is my favorite shimmery shade of all time for MAC. Then we have Patina, which is a gorgeous kind of almost bronze brown. And then we have Mystery, which is a dark brown. So that's the four colors that are in this quad. I love this for like an everyday quick look. And then Honey Last is the perfect color to carry with you if you want to add some shimmer and sparkle to your look. So this has been my go-to quad for the last several weeks now. I've got some other things here for eyes. I have some Mica pigments, but I'm gonna go through the MAC pigments first, because while we're on a MAC kick, I'm gonna talk about all of the MAC eye stuff. I have been loving Blonde's Gold, and this is one that I don't know if you can get full-time regularly or not, but Blonde's Gold is just really beautiful. I'm actually gonna swatch the pigments because they are harder to see if you're just showing them. Blonde's Gold is just a really pretty, soft, metallic -y gold color. I use this for a highlight. I use this for my lids. I use this everywhere. I love that. I also use it underneath the gold glitter that I really like. I also have been using Rose Pigment a lot, which is a gorgeous color. It's a pinky gold. It's really beautiful. I'm just going to clean up my hand a bit. MAC pigments can get really, really messy, so I always recommend that you do, if you're ever using any kind of pigment, that you do your eye makeup first, remove all of the pigment from the rest of your face, and then apply your um, face makeup. This is Rose Gorgeous. It's a beautiful pinky gold is the only way to explain it, but once they blend together, they create almost like a new shade. And then the other one that I've been using a lot of is Heritage Rouge which is kind of a deeper purpley toned red. Well, purpley, I should say red toned purple. Like I said, pigments can be really, really tricky to work with if you are um, new to them or you're just not comfortable with them. They can be kind of a pain like this one is being. That's Heritage Rouge on the bottom there. Like I said, it's a really pretty, like almost purple, purple burgundy color. Definitely pulls more purple. I've been wearing that one a ton. And so that's it for MAC eye products. There was a lot of them, I know. I've just been on a MAC kick. You should see how many MAC lip products I currently have sitting up in front of me. There's a lot of those too. 
So then the only other three pigments I've been using are Bare Minerals True Gold, which is one of my all-time favorite gold shades. It's a beautiful, pure gold, really, really reflective, really shimmery, really metallic. I absolutely love that. And then the other two are from Mica Beauty, and I got these probably over a year ago, different boxes. The first one is called Earth, which I'm actually wearing all over my lid today. It's a beautiful, sparkly, baby pink. It's a gorgeous all over the lid shade. It's what I normally use it for. And inner corner highlight. It's really pretty. I hope you guys can see it. And then the other color is a little bit deeper. And it's what I'm using in my crease today along with the Marc Jacobs um, brown from the Lolita palette, the dark brown. But this one is bronze shimmer. Lots of shimmer these days, you guys. I don't know what's gotten into me. Normally I'm... Uh, I went through like a very, very interesting matte phase and now I'm going through a shimmer phase. I don't know, I'm just going through phases. I guess as we get older we do that. This is a beautiful bronze color. It's just a pure bronze. Really stunning. Really easy to blend into the eye. So as you can see, my hand is like reflective goodness right now because that is all I've been wearing is a lot of really highly pigmented, really reflective colors. The only other eye product I've been using is the Be A Bombshell Submissive Eye Base. I've been using this under all of my pigments just to kind of get me started. It does look a little bit deep, but honestly, when you swatch it, it actually comes off very, very sheer and it requires some build up. So as a base, it's really beautiful. I wouldn't call this a cream eyeshadow and they don't they call it an eye base because it's not pigmented enough to stand alone but it's a great kind of under color for any eyeshadow you're going to put on top now I have two nail polishes my nails are bare right now I'm going to give them a paint later but I've been loving Bergen which was a classic with the twist color from Jula it is a gorgeous blue silver I've been wearing this a ton also because it is the season for this it is winter and that just reminds me of like snow and cold and then of course I've gone back to my Zoya Vega pixie dust which is probably my favorite Ex well I love all the pixie dust I it would be like picking my children but this one is a gorgeous blue with a beautiful hexagonal shimmery sparkle to it so next I have two face products. The first one is just this mini. I have the full size as well. But this is Tarte's Flush Cheek Stain. This has been the only thing I've been wearing on my cheeks. It's what I'm wearing today. It's a gorgeous stain. It's kind of like a pinky purple. It just makes it look like you just came in off the ski hill. That's it right there it's so pretty I really really love that color and then the only other product I've been using on my face is this this is from gloss this is gloss this is Krylon for glossy box this was the highlighter in cashmere I've talked about this in so many videos you guys are probably sick of it but it's just the most subtle iridescent shimmer it just looks really pretty on your face and it really is nice for this time of year because it really livens up and brightens up your cheek area and then the last thing we're going to talk about is lips and I have been on a red lip kick. I have literally gone red lip insane. Um, the only lipstick in front of me that is not red right now is Angel, and I got this one for free in a back to MAC return. It's a really pretty neutral color. I, there's no point in even watching it, because it's like a My Lips But Better, and you're barely gonna be able to see it, but that's what it looks like. It's just like a really pretty neutral pink color. And then everything else in front of me is red, and these two I'm pretty sure are limited edition, and I don't know if you can get them anymore. So we'll start with those. The first one is Salon Rouge, and this, is a gorgeous deep red color. It's kind of like a pink red, which you guys know is definitely my favorite kind of red. Obsession. And then Sparks of Romance is also being labeled a matte, and I'm not entirely sure why, because it is a matte literally with chunks of glitter in it. Unless that's just mine, which I can't imagine it being just mine, but literally it has like red and green glitter. I, I'll see if I can get it to the camera and give you guys a close-up after. The color is gorgeous, but it does have some glitter in it, so it's just... It was surprising for me because I wanted it to be a matte because I like matte red lips, but it's not a matte. Anyway, last two matte colors are the matte, which is, these are from the new matte line that just launched, I guess it was last month, but these are going to be permanent from what I understand, so you can get them at any time. The first one is Le Vion Rouge, which is a gorgeous, like, soft red. It's kind of like a almost coral red, and these are definitely true matte formulas for MAC. These are like Ruby Woo. They're very drying. If you're going to wear anything that's this matte, make sure that your lips are perfect. Like you don't want cracks, you don't want smudges, or fill them in with a primer first, because everything will show when you wear one of these. And then the last one is Damn Glamorous, which I have been wearing a ton. Um, if you've seen any of my Instagram photos in the last three days, this is the lips I was wearing. That's the red color on the top there, damn glamorous. And then the last two reds, and then I'm done, I promise. I told you guys, it was a red kick. Um, these are from Lime Crime. These are amazing. If you've never... Oh, I've got pigment all over this one. Of course I do. 
Okay. Um, if you've never heard of Lime Crime Lipstick before, I got my first one last year for Christmas from my best friend Jessica, and she got me hooked. So I picked up the two reds that they have in their line. These are literally covered in pigment. If you guys are wondering why I'm looking at them like they're dirty, it's because they are. Look at my hands. Hi. It's gross. It's all over my hands. So the first one is Retro Futurist, which is a gorgeous bright red. That is what I'm wearing today. And it's stunning. Their lipsticks are so glossy. I don't understand how they get that glossy finish on them, but they're beautiful. And that is, again, what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's just this bright, bright red. I kind of think it goes with the, the Patriots colors, but that's not why I'm wearing it. Actually, it is. And then the next one is Glamour 101, and this one is way deeper. This is going to be like my Christmas lip, I think. It's kind of like a... I almost want to say like a burgundy red. It's really, really deep. It has almost a brown tint to it, but it's really pretty. I think it will give me that like vampy red lip that I like so much. Anyway, I have talked up a storm. I've talked about limited edition products. I'm sure I've pissed most of you off at this point. But if you can get your hands on any of this stuff, eBay, Amazon, honestly, when I talk about it in a Monday's Marvelous or Mundane, it's because it truly is like the best of the best. It's stuff that I'm loving, using on everybody. My hand is now all stained. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry there's no Mundanes, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Let your heart come out, run away with me We could dance all night, if you stay with me Where the stars never fade